good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and we've got to make a sweet prototype airliner. So, my friends, let's get cracking. So, of course, we're in Tinkercad, and if you created the earlier jet, I would like you to duplicate the one without the movable airfoils. When you hit duplicate, it'll take a moment, and then it'll launch. And then we can change the name to Final Airliner. And put our initials on it. We want to make this airliner larger. So we're going to go over here to the edit grid and I want you to backspace and change it to 400. The only way I can get these numbers to go away is by backspacing. So do make sure you remember that when you hit update grid, you'll have much more room to play with. If you have not already created that airliner, I will have links up above so you can get to that quick lesson. I want you to grab your entire airplane, bring it back towards the middle, hold down shift and we're going to stretch it almost all the way to the front. So now we have got a large airliner. I want that airliner to be wider though. Click on it, stretch it with a black handle and let's type the number 70 so we've all got pretty similar widths. I want to center these parts. To center them again let's hold down shift and click these two so they stay as a group. Let's click on these two and center that or group them as well and then we can select every last part of this project and when we do a line and make the blue the master boom it all lines up just the way we'd expect it later we can ungroup these if we want to so now our first step is to cut away the wing where the fuselage goes let me show you how easy it is to do this we're going to hit duplicate and we're going to make that duplicate a hole. Notice how there's a blue one and a hole. We're just going to click on the hole and the wing. And when you group them, you will now have a cutout area where that was. We are also going to make the inside of our plane. Do control D again, raise it up a little bit, make it a hole, and then note the height mine is 64. I'm going to subtract 4 from that. So if yours was 68, yours will end up being 64. We're going to do that by holding down shift and shrinking it a little and then typing in that number we came up with. From 64 I'm going to type 60 and now that'll fit inside my shape. Select the two of them and do a line. Make the blue one the master and let's align it to the front and the center and then I want you to click on just that hole and we're going to move it back four or five clicks. Now grab them again and do a line. We want the blue one to be the master and we want to put them in the center. When you group those two pieces, you will instantly have a sweet cutout and you can prove it by hitting transparent. That's a great spot for the people to sit in your aircraft. Of course, we need somewhere for them to sit. We're going to do that with a cylinder. When you bring the cylinder out, let's check how big it needs to be. It's going to be 321. So let's type 321 in this box. Yours will be a different number, but you understand the theory. And then remember we made it 70 this way. So I'm going to type 68, so there's just a little bit of space between them. And then I want you to make it two millimeters thick. Let's select these two, click a line, make the blue one the master, line up the fronts, line up the center, and line it up to the middle. You can see that that fits inside pretty darn nifty. Uh, it pokes out a tiny bit. You can fix that by just nudging it back. And then also make sure you set the sides to 64 so that it's round. It does not poke out at all, which is fantastic. In the back, I'm going to shrink it just a little bit because it doesn't have to go all the way back there. I do want it a little lower. I'm going to do that just by lowering it down so it's below the wing. That way people can sit on the floor there and look out the windows that we're going to add. That makes it so I nudge it back just a little bit further. I'm happy with that and I want to lock that. 
I don't want it to group with anything else. Like right now, we're going to do some really quick, awesome windows. To do those windows, I want you to bring out another cube. I want you to make that cube eight thick. Let's stretch it quite wide and a little bit long, and then just lift it up to where you would want to cut out your cool jet windshield. I like mine right there. Just because I like practice and aligning, I'm going to click on the blue one and make it the master. And then I'm going to group windows behind it as well. So I'm going to bring out a cylinder, rotate it 90 degrees. Remember, probably the easiest way is to click and type 90 and press enter. And then hold shift and shrink it because we want it smaller. I'm going to tell you a good size is 10. Stretch it with a black handle or just click and type. I'm going to tell you that 85 is a good number. And then we're going to take that and align it with the body. Shift click so that there's two selected. Align. Click on the blue. And I want it in the middle. And I want it at the top. Use your handle or do control up and down to get it at the right spot. And then I'm going to do left or right to get it to the right spot. I like that for where my window is going to be. And then here's my favorite skill. Friends, control D. Use your arrow keys to nudge it back till there's a gap between them. And then don't touch anything else. Just do control D again and again and again. And it'll go all the way back to the end of your vehicle. We want to group all those pieces now, but we don't want to group the wing. So simply hide those wing parts. Remember, we locked the orange piece so it should stay together. And I'm grabbing from the front to the back. And boom, we have just made a sweet airliner with windows that cut all the way through and a place for people to sit. I'm going to turn that to a solid color now, and I'm going to add glass unbelievably quick. Put your work plane right on that edge, find the half sphere, bring it out to your aircraft on that spot, and then we know that it was 70, so I'm going to type 68 again. And then we know that it was about 300, so I'm going to just type 300. I'm going to make that transparent, and I'm going to select the two of them. Let's look at it from a corner. And when we do a line, that blue is the master, and I want it to be in the middle. I'm going to put the work plane back on the ground and let's zoom in and see how good it turned out. You can see I've got pink windows going all the way back. I just need to click on that pink thing and make it a little taller so they go all the way. If it pokes out, just make it a little thinner. And then you can fiddle with your colors to see what you really like as well. I'm going to give mine green windows today. Notice I can see here that the orange piece is poking out. I'm going to switch my grid to 0.25. Notice it shows orange. I'm going to unlock it for a second. And then with that small grid, I'm going to push it in. And I'm going to push it in with that black handle. I do want to lock it again so that I don't accidentally group it. Before you have fun, do make sure you set that grid back to 1. And if we do show all... It is time to start adding seats and a cockpit and all the cool parts that make this jet totally awesome. All right, remember friends, your job is to make a jet that is for a company that is doing long flights. Make sure you have plans for the engines. Make sure you have backup plans for safety. And let's see how cool your awesome prototype can be. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a